Hey guys, in the following tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sign up to Google Analytics so that you can start tracking your website and find out more about uh, what users are doing on your site. So it's pretty easy to sign up to Google Analytics. The first thing you'll want to do is go to google.com forward slash analytics, which you can see up here. And you will then want to click on analytics, this first tab. You have a, a few different options here, but the uh, most important one for this will be Google Analytics. You'll want to uh, sign up for free. So if you have an existing uh, Google account, uh, great, go ahead and uh, you can uh, ready sign up here and log in. If you do not have a Google account, uh, we recommend signing up for uh, Google first. And then once you've done that, uh, you can proceed with this step. So you'll want to go ahead and click sign up then you will want to uh, create your new account. So first I would like to track a website. Uh, the tracking method um, is here. Then you'll want to set up an account name, so make that relevant. So whether that's uh, for your website name, etc. cetera. Uh, the website will also be uh, labeled here. And then add the URL. So in this case, I'm going to uh, track my personal site and just add that. So you can remove the uh, you can remove the HTTP. Now, if you, if your website is HTTPS, uh, we recommend setting that up first and foremost. Uh, you can select the industry. So depending on what it is, um, you may want to choose a small business or education if you're a photographer. Um, it should not be a problem. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to select business. Uh, again, choose the time zone that you're that you're in and you would like to use. And then you can choose any of the uh, data sharing options, whether you want to uh, send any data to Google for that. Uh, next, you'll want to click Get Tracking ID. Uh, you will have to accept the terms, so you can read that. And once you've accepted the terms, then you will have access to your tracking ID. Now with flow themes, you'll want to use the uh, global site tag. So this tag right here, and you'll just want to copy and paste that and use it for your site. So you can make a note of this, uh, save it down and then add it to uh, your website. Now, if you're with uh, your most recent account with flow themes, or one of the most recent themes, uh, you can go ahead and go to uh, your account. You can log in and uh, with the newest themes, you'll be able to just add the code directly uh, in the introduction stage. Now, if you're in an older theme, for example, um, you can also add it to the, in the flow themes area. So for example, I'm in the old crowd theme and in the general settings area, you can see there's a tracking code. You would copy and paste that full tracking code here, so let's just copy that. You put the full tracking code in this area. Include the script tags and everything, guys. Uh, you'll need the full uh, the full tag here to make that work. Otherwise, if you just add the simple code, it will show up the top of your site. Now, if I was to activate one of the newer themes, so let me just go ahead and do that for you. Uh, it will be in the introduction stage. So, so I'll go ahead and activate Crowd2. And once that's activated, in the introduction stage, you'll see that there is an option for optional settings. Or if you're just getting there and you already have the theme activated, go to Flow Themes Introduction, go to optional, optional Settings, and then just paste the full code in the Analytics Code section. Once that's added to your site, then you'll be able to start tracking your website. So just go ahead and make sure to save that. If you'd like to uh, track and make sure that the code is added to your site, there are two ways to do that. The first option is to use the uh, tag assistant uh, by Google. So whenever uh, the code is added, you can uh, then uh, record and enable and then record the page and then just hit uh, refresh. Now it will then tell you if there's a code added to the site. Uh, if there is a code added, which you can see the code's here um, and it's green, that means the code is then working. And that's it, folks. That's how you add Google Analytics to your site.